Hello, and welcome to our School at Home class in English 7. We are in the second quarter of our set of lesson. I hope everybody will delight in learning today with lesson number 8. Structural Analysis Root Words, Prefixes, and Suffixes For a start, do the following exercise. You can pause this video if you need more time. Press play again when you're finished with the activity and when you're ready to proceed with the lesson. Directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer for each question. 1. A suffix is a word apart. A touch to. A. The beginning of the root word. B. The middle of the root word. C. The end of the base root word. D. The initial letter of the word. Number 2. A prefix is a word part attached to A. The beginning of the root word. B. The middle of the root word. C. The end of the base root word. D. The initial letter of the word. Number 3. What is the meaning of the word harmful? A. Without harm. B. Full of harm. C. A person who harms. D. A person who is hurt. Number 4. What does this prefix this mean? A. Opposite of. B. Opposed to. C. Don't like. D. Dislike. Number 5. What does this suffix less mean? A. Without. B. Nothing with. C. Homeless. D. No home. Here are the answers. Number 1. A. 2. A. 3. A. 4. A. And number 5. A. In the previous lesson, you have learned that newspapers, website, video, imagers, podcasts, Print-based materials are sources to research a topic. Today, you are going to learn structural analysis, root words, prefixes, and suffixes. Get yourself ready to focus. Yawn and shrug your shoulders. Look at the flower on your screen. How many words can you create combining the words in the pistil or the middle circle and the other words in the petals? Words in the middle circle or pistil. We have this, manage, er, port, tidy. These are the words in the petals. Number one, short. Two, like. Three, able. Four, un. Five, x. Can you count all the words that you were able to combine? Were you able to make five words? That's great! Let's read all the words that you combine. Number one, shorter. Two, dislike. Three, manageable. Four, untidy. Five, export. The words you created contain root words, prefixes, and suffixes. Today, let us talk about use structural analysis to determine the meaning of unfamiliar words or expressions from the material viewed. What is structural analysis? Structural analysis is dividing words into parts to discover what a known word mean? What is a root word? Root word is the basic meaningful part of a word. Some examples of root words are tidy, clear, happy. I guess everybody is familiar with these words. Let's have prefix now. What is a prefix? Prefix is a letter or a group of letters that attach to the beginning of a word and helps to indicate 
or modify its meaning. Let's read the example prefixes, words, meanings, and sentences. Prefix. Let's have the first prefix. This. Example words with prefix this. Disagree. Disappear. Disapprove. Example sentence. It has disappeared for many years, but the nature showed again its beauty during enhanced community quarantine. As you can see, the underlying word is disappeared. The word disappear is the opposite of appear. The prefix of disappear is this, and the root word is appear. It means that the word disappear become impossible to find. Let's have the second prefix, an. These are the example words with prefix an. Unhappy, untidy, unclear. Example sentence. The senior citizens have written a letter to the local government to clean the untidy community park. As you can see, the underlying word is untidy. The root word is tidy. And the prefix an means not. The word untidy means not arranged properly. It is the opposite of the word tidy and orderly. Let's have the last one. Prefix re. Example words. Recall, reject, return. Example sentence. She could only recall that planting vegetables and fruits during the enhanced community quarantine gave her positive energy. As you can see, the underlying word is recall. The root word is call. And the prefix is re, means again. The word recall means to remember something. I hope everybody understood about prefixes. Suffix. What is a suffix? Suffix is a letter or a group of letters that is usually attached to the end of a word to form a new word, as well as alter the way it functions grammatically. Let's read the example suffixes, words, meanings, and sentences. Let's have the first suffix, ship. Example words with suffix ship. We have friendship, internship, hardship. Example sentence, Prince Harry made a wonderful friendship with others by planting and raising crops in the garden. As you can see, the underlying word is friendship. The root word of friendship is friend. And the suffix is ship. Friendship means being able to tell each other anything and understanding without question. Let's have the second suffix, less. Example words, hopeless, fearless, careless. Example sentence. The mountaineers are fearless to climb the mountain and have a very high environmental awareness. As you can see, the underlying word is fearless. The root word is fear. And the suffix is less. Fearless means lacking of fear or brave. The opposite word is coward. Let's have the last suffix word. Able. Example words. Likeable. Comfortable. Lovable. Example sentence. My best friends and I are nature lovers. We have traveled a lot. They are the most comfortable people to travel with. As you can see, the underlying word is comfortable. The root word is comfort. And the suffix is able. Comfortable means providing physical ease and relaxation. Now, let us practice your understanding. Let's try a few items as practice exercise. Directions. Choose prefix or suffix word in the open close parentheses to complete each sentence. The prefixes and suffixes are in the table below. Prefix and suffix. 
Les, Miss, Sean. Number one. Lots of public places use the Save Environment posters and stickers to encourage others to protect the environment because other people don't even care. They are blank. The answer is... Careless! Very good! I will give you two clops. The answer is careless. Add the suffix less to the root word care. The sentence shows that people are not worried or not giving attention about the environment. Number two, the students blank the procedures on how to plant and raise avocados, so they were not able to harvest the fruits. They couldn't understand the proper procedures of planting them. You got it right! You understood! I will give you two clops. The answer is misunderstood. Add prefix miss to the root word understood. The sentence showed that the students did not understand the process of planting avocados. Number three. The meeting room was a lot of blank between the environmentalist group and business group, discussing about the part to be a part of the business area. Everybody was raising their voices. Was your answer attention? <laughs> That's correct. I will give you two clops. The answer is tension. Add suffix Sean to the root word tense. The sentence shows the two groups cannot relax to understand each other. That can cause conflict. To wrap everything up that we have talked about in this lesson, let us always remember that it is important to understand the definition of suffixes and prefixes because they help us to unlock the meaning of the unfamiliar words. It is not only your home that keep us alive, but also our environment. Therefore, we should ensure that our actions don't end up harming the environment, as we are the ones to suffer later. After viewing and listening to this video lesson, do not forget to do these exercises as your homeschool work for today. Worksheet number 8, English 7, second quarter. Goodbye and see you in the next lesson.